Every six hours, someone's girlfriend is kidnapped or a princess is taken. These stories are always tragic and no one is safe. But sometimes it's the kidnapper who ends up being the victim. There are those who fight back for the ones they love and against all odds persevere. But these stories rarely end happily ever after. The experience of harrowing kidnappings and vicious battles takes a huge toll on relationships. Tonight, we take a look and see how unhappy these endings can be, as Mantipus Productions presents Abducted Girlfriends, The True Stories. Tonight, Double Dragon, Billy Lee and Marion. Billy Lee and Marion once lived a happy and normal life. Then one day, crisis struck. So, Billy, how did you discover that she'd been taken, and how long was she held? Uh, it took a while. The Black Warriors are very mysterious gang. They don't leave a lot of information around. There's a lot of investigation involved. Police reports, however, told a different story. Marion! Home! Sons of bitches. And then what happened? Well, the rest is history. I just uh, took the streets and beat the hot shit out of everybody I saw that I thought was part of the Black Warriors gang. So you felt like vigilante justice was the answer? Yeah, I drink a lot. Well, that's not what I asked, but uh, so uh, how many people did you fight? Probably about 300. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't remember most of it. Just flashes of knives and whips and... I threw one dude, like, into a pit off a conveyor belt. I don't even know what that was or where it was. The most shocking part of this story, however, is who masterminded this nefarious crime. And did you ever discover who was behind it all? Yeah, it was my damn brother, Jimmy. I would certainly say that he completely overreacted to the whole thing. Jimmy, why would you do this? Look, I don't understand what the big deal is, okay? I mean, look, I know Marion is into me. Somebody punched me in the freaking stomach. You don't think maybe we could have just talked about this? How long have you been the leader of the damn Black Warriors? Oh, there's some guys I know, you know, we work out. Oh, Dave, you know Dave. Look, besides, your girlfriend's hot. What do you want from me? You are a colossal dick, Jimmy. You, you don't think maybe I would have figured this out when Thanksgiving came around? Look, I don't understand what the big deal is. That guy had a fucking machine gun, Jimmy. This isn't okay. Can we go home now? God damn it, Jimmy. So basically, you, Billy, and Marion are like an episode of Jerry Springer, except you know Kung Fu. Yeah, sort of. Fascinating. After you kidnapped Marion, what happened? Well, Everybody was pretty pissed for a while, but over time, things got better. Okay, I suppose that there, there's a better way to express your love for your brother's girlfriend than hiring a gang of thugs to kidnap her. But I thought she would think it was romantic. Women, huh? Yeah, if you, if you can't win their affection through hostage situations, then what good are they? I know, right? Anyways, um, things between Billy and Marion were never really the same after that. We're gonna be late for the opera if you don't get up soon. You mind if we skip tonight? I'm still a little banged up from, you know, single-handedly fighting the entire Black Warriors gang. I got hit upside down the bat a few times. I'm pretty sure I got shot. But you promised. Marion, 
this is a stab wound from like a knife, from like a psychopath. I can't even really feel my left arm. Fine, okay. Yay! Yes! So Jimmy's coming over later. What? What? I don't want to talk to him right now. Why? Because uh, he kidnapped you two days ago, Marion. His note's still on the wall. He just seems so short after that. Always, I beat up 300 people. I don't know. Everywhere we went, he was just so tense. This is so good. Really? I, I don't know. I thought I was the move was a little less bad. Oh, come on. What? I hate Orlando Bloom. God, we're so selfish sometimes. Yeah, you know, I'm the selfish one. I beat up 300 people, single-handedly rescue from the Black Warriors. Let's do everything you want to do, because I'm so selfish. You know, we're on the topic. You think if someone single-handedly rescued you from the Black Warriors and beat up 300 people, you'd put out a little more. You're not Chuck Norris. You don't have to go rampaging in the streets. You could have just called the police like a normal person. God, will you shut up? I'm trying to watch the movie. Stay out of it, asshole. What a bitch. Fuck you, you a bitch. <laughs> I'll admit that was totally hot. Things remain tumultuous for the once happy couple. First kidnapping, and then brutal murder. So how did you react to the news? The only way I know how. Uh, I drank, took to the streets, beat up another 300 people. It was pretty badass. <laughs> what? Surely you had to realize that no amount of violence would bring Mary back to life. You know, people kept saying that, but... Bam. An angel brought me back to life. Makes perfect sense. Perfect sense all the way to the bank. You know, now that all that's over, I feel like the worst is behind us and we can really just move on with our relationship. Billy couldn't have been more wrong. Hey, Marion's been taken. Something about sacred stones. Let's go bust some heads. Hey, they took Marion again. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No, no, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Kidnap Marion again. We should teach her kung fu, or get her a fucking gun. Yeah. The battle toads are helping us this time. I think they're like a MySpace band or something. Uh -huh. Marion is still routinely kidnapped. Despite it all, Billy is still with her. And Jimmy is still a total third wheel. Some people even say the kidnappings are what's keeping them together at this point. Happy ever after? You decide. Join us next time as we explore the relationship of a plumber and a princess torn asunder. For Mantipus Productions, I'm Ryan Ashmore. Thank you for watching. Thank you.